Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. There's the whistle, and here we go. Way. Benateski. He's through the middle. Iguain gets the better of his man. Now it's Quadrado. Has a pop! Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort, I and mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. It's Iguain. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernadeschi. <laughs> Bentancur. Plays it short. It's being played forward. Loses his balance and loses the ball. It's got through. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Goal! Juventus! And it's Juventus who take the lead. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Juventus take the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Pjanic. De Ligt. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Forward it goes. That's great strength on the ball. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Benucci is there to heave it away. Nicely controlled. Can he deliver? That'll be a throw. <laughs> and 
the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But Rotherham still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Juventus leading 1 0 at the break. Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world How are you reading this formation Jim Beglin? Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet Peter This is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and Lends a stubbornness to that midfield which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through and it takes a lot of pressure off your defense of course forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. The action has already started. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Of course, Manuel Neuer. He doesn't just dominate his area, Peter. He seems to control the whole of the defensive third. He's excellent at mopping up any balls that make it through that defensive line. And what's more, he can often turn those interceptions into lethal counter-attacks too. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Jesson. Over to the left. Breaks on here. Now it's Goretzka, and it's Muller, Gnabry provides an outlet, Gnabry, that's one way of trying to make things happen, there's a few who could follow that example. Brushed off the ball there. Looks to clip it forward. Neuer can pick that up. Felipe. If you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. That is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance.
Flamengo take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Perisic. Gerson. Gets on the end of it. Gabriel! Pavar is there and he can get that clear. Gorgeous control there. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Whistle goes. And here we are. As they go for half time, the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Flamengo having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. 